Oh, morning diggers, back out in um, Somerset today. Um, so you've got a job on at the minute to get onto the permissions you want to get onto because they're either in maize or they're, the grass is too high or there's all sorts of things. But um, where I'd like to go and where I can go is two different things. So you're just going to have to put up with uh, some basic fines. Well, you never know what comes up, but yeah, I'll see you at the next. Well, got my first uh, target today. Um, here somewhere. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Um, don't go too high. Um, same signal round there. About three shovels down. So, uh, forever, ever the optimist. Um, although there is been a lot of bottle tops around here. Off the, uh, it's not similar to Moo Tube stuff, but sort of cream ointment, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it was quite early. It's half past 11, so I haven't long got up. Um, well, that's a lovely start of the day. Look at that. Blimey. Crikey, look at that. I don't know what the other side's going to be like. It's got something going on on it, but... It's going to be 1920 something, I reckon. 1917. George, what a lovely coin that is. I have to take a picture of him. He deserves it. This is quite interesting, look. The steamroller. There's some sort of wheels still work, but the, uh, the roof's gone, uh, and I think his steering's gone. But yeah. What a fine that is. What a good start today, and I reckon I clean up quite well. Anyway, I'm chuffed about that if it was uh, steam or it's probably diesel. Anyway, on to the next. Well, this one's quite rare. As you can see, I've got two holes open here. <clears throat> and I dug the first one and I had a pan coin out. I dug the next one and I had a pan coin out. And they, I reckon they're sort of 1971, 72, but yeah, two of them right next door to each other. Can you imagine losing two quid in 19, I don't know, 75? Crikey, that's one, two, that's four packets of fags. It's got to be, on it? What were they, 50p a pack? That would have been four gallons of petrol. Blimey, that's just, that's mad losing that. But, yeah, it's not quite a hoard, but it's quite amazing in those days that people would have dropped that. Uh, Pops Lizzie again, Elizabeth II, it's 1964, uh, ship's penny, so I reckon that's um, 60 years old, isn't it? According to my calculations, yeah, they they got all this, like, um, it just eats into them, whatever that is, but I was quite lucky on that one, so it's, yeah, you can't see much, but they weren't made of good stuff in those days, I don't think, but every time you pull a bit off, you're just trashing it, but, yeah, you can see her there, look, lovely. Well, I'll just come up with a uh, 52 on the bottom ferris here. So, oh, 52, 53, 54. I just like the sound of it. I don't, I'm not anticipating it to be much, but the sound of it is quite nice. The 2D screen right down on the bottom ferris. So, uh, not always a good sign, but yeah, I'll have worse. If it's on the top ferris, it's definitely worse, but on the bottom, even if it's a bit of tin, oh, it's in there somewhere. I normally flatten these down a little bit just so I don't have to do too much searching. So, let's have a look in here. Yeah, it's in the top. I think it's quite loud. So it's going to be a bit of tin or something, I think. But, well, don't know what that is. It looks like a bit of pot, to be honest. When you say, yeah, not too sure, but yeah, 50 it come in at. Interesting, I'll clean it up later, see if there's anything on it. Might find a bit that slots into that, I don't know. <clears throat> may do, other than that, maybe trash. 
on this one I thought to myself hmm it's very thin and it looks like um, a bottle top but if you have a look at it <clears throat> I think it's the back of a watch or something can you see the silver marks there and over here there's some marks as well so uh, always check your trash anyway we're on the silver bloody lovely do you know when I set off today I thought I'm not going to dig any rubbish but I'm going to let some of the tomes go because when you come across here again they'll still be here and you might be having a boring day and you might want to dig it but look at this 83 84 and that's bang on 83 and that could be a silver coin now it could be a silver coin I just had that bit of silver up but that was on a 65 but <clears throat> I think this is a bottle top or a bit of that gold tin it's blaring but um and but it's a very small you dig it every, all day long so just stepped in all that shit and never mind oh if we stop concentrating on the cow pat oh look at that but look at it Hark at that and look at that. What did I say? It's not the gold that I'm looking for, but it's a cap of some sort. But they just come out on such a screen where you cannot afford not to dig them. It could be anything. Anyway, onwards and upwards. This one came up on a 26 and it was about a foot down in there. Let me know. Um, got the 10, uh, nine inch M9 coil on again today. I've been on the 15, I've been on the uh, stock coil, the 11, but I just, I just like, everyone, you speak to anybody who's got a manticore and they've got these coils, these 9 inch coils, they just seem to be the perfect size for detecting, um, especially when you're trying to get across, you know, overgrown stuff, which this is, um, look at it, it's real, it's like dense weeds and God knows what, but yeah, I've got that little coil on, these seems to be flying through it, but um, and he's also catching stuff up to about a foot deep as well. It's just a good coil. Um, I've had to do some minor adjustments on here to get the um, board of bottom ferrous just up a little bit to squeeze the iron out um, just there. And I'm running on 24. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting um, a foot deep um, and some good targets as well. I mean, it's... Uh, and I'm sort of rejecting a lot of stuff as well because it's, it's rubbish. I've been doing the odd dig just to see what it's all about because it's coming up dodgy on the 2D screen. It's also a bit, it's not coins of the year, so I'm sort of leaving it. But, yeah, it's definitely doing this job, this little thing, and it's light as well. But I got me drinks and sandwiches and God knows on a backpack, so what I'm losing on this, I'm gaining on my back. Right, I've had a massive piece of lead come up. I don't know what that's all about, but um, I hit it with a spade, but that was on a high signal. And I've had this thing come out, and the only thing I could think it could be is a pot leg. Um, it's a strange looking one, but it's sort of got that patina about it when I found them before. You know, you can always tell with farmer stuff, it's just rusted to hell, but when you rub down into this, you've got that sort of patina. Every time you've got this sort of patina, you see it on the top there. So I'm going to go with, um, because it just sits there quite nicely, some sort of pot leg or something off of something that somebody would stand something on. Sounds a bit bizarre, but um, yeah, I reckon that's what it is. If it was absolutely littered with rust all the way around there, I'd say it was something else. But I think that, look at that, perfect. Looks like a pot leg. I'm going to take it anyway. Right, this one. I got a rough idea what this is. And I think it came up on a screamer, 85. Would you say that was fire tongs? Maybe? Come down a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah, fire tongs, I reckon. Maybe? Don't know. Well, this one's just popped up. It's all sort of come up on the 21. It's deep, though. Um, I reckon, I don't know, it's, it's a buckle from something or other. It looks like a trouser buckle to me, but it's probably 1800, something like that. Obviously, the clip's missing. And it's got a crack. I've noticed there's a crack here, so if that gets uh, dicked, it's gone. And that pops the uh, livery button. I think it's about 1800. It's still got a little bit of cotton in here. Um, really crap signal. 
Um, I said today I wasn't going to dig crap signals, but um, this was worth digging. As I said, there's a phoenix on there. Livery button, lovely. They're quite common, actually. But, yeah, nice. And on to the next. Well, we're just letting the co cows calm down at the minute. They're going a bit mental up there, so we're uh, going to go in with them soon. Um, try and get to the top of the hill here, but... Yeah, I don't know what this is. Um, completely toasted. Thought it might have been a hammer of some sort, but... It's not. It's all that shine there. It looks like it's a farthing or something. But it's, again, it's really thin. But I don't know. Keep going. I thought it was a button, but it's not. Oh, it's a day of buckles and toasties today. And here's another buckle. A square one, actually. Might be off a horse. Don't know. Let me know if you know. Right, I think we've got a buckle going on in this hole. Ah, I'll just show you it. Down here somewhere. Um, there. See that? Um, gonna have to clean this one up because I don't want to break it. But look at the back of that. That looks lovely. I'll take a picture of that and get back to you. Okay, so I've had a little tidy up. I think it's a uh, Georgian buckle. You can see this thing on the back. It's a bit different. Um, there's a bit of decoration on there and there's a bit of gilding on it about the place as well. So I'm not going to push this because I know what'll happen. Bang. But yeah. I think that's a shoe buckle or some off the sock or a knee. <coughs> Very nice too. <clears throat> anyway, on to the next. Well, we've been up by the side of the trees by the woods and uh, oh, shotgun shells, bullets. But uh, yeah, just got a bit of a crucial bell. Quite nice. Um, shame we couldn't find the rest of it, but yeah, a bell's a bell. This is a nice one, look, um, part of a spectacle buckle. I'm finding loads of bits and pieces, but <clears throat> I'm having to keep an eye on these blimmin' things at the minute. Look at them. They're all right. I think they got bored with me at the minute, but they started bloody tramp trampling just now. And, uh, yeah, they were uh, quite a distance away. But I wouldn't like to get uh, hit over by one, that's for sure. Well, after hanging, hanging, handing me ringing yesterday, the St. Christopher, I've gone and pulled this up, which is the St. Christopher's Traveller, well, Traveller's Painting Saint, that's who, that's who St. Christopher was, and he's there holding a the baby. It's only sort of a bit of a aluminium one. But somebody's obviously lost it. But, um, yeah, it's nice. Ironic that I, I find it today of all days, after going to the flow yesterday with a St. Christopher medieval gold ring. Have I mentioned that before? Nah. Well, this don't come out very often. This is a pot mend, complete with pot. Look at that. How odd's that? That must have taken some doing. But yeah, interesting. A pot mend, a ultra pot mend, ultra mahusive pot mend. Look, it's got a bit of a shoulder there as well. Very nice. Well, today seems to be a day of buckles and toasties and bits. Nothing really of any significance, but I haven't seen one like this before, but it could go that way or it could go on a shoe. Don't know, but yeah, odd one. I haven't dug one of those before. Well, I'm gonna go back to a little bit of a live dig. Yeah, I've got a 50, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, 51. It's quite a big ball actually, so it could be anything. Um, it's not big, I think. Um, just had a couple of uh, lids up just now, bottle tops, that sort of stuff. But I'm not pushing the shovel down too hard. I don't think it's that deep. I think it's more or less sort of halfway down this plug somewhere. I think might be. Yeah, he's about there somewhere. Yeah, and it's giving me a little bit of a dodgy signal now. So funny how they change. I had some rain last night, so. there somewhere so could be anything god blimey moo tube oh dear 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 that's about the fifth one i found today but yeah a moo tube funny how they give those signals off i think it's you know it's, it's a bit distorted i mean a because of the size of it and you've got this 
it's going to give off um, like so um, this one here now I've ripped it off gives it 41 on this bit here yeah 50 so you got yeah 41 41 50 so that's because of this thing on the top never mind <laughs> let's keep going I think this one's a half-hearted attempt of uh, a love token of some sort but oh, blimey if he put that in his mouth and tried to bend it with his teeth he probably broke him that's why he didn't do the other half uh, yeah 1906 I think is a farthing it's smaller than a half penny but um, yeah I think I think it's a farthing but I could just get the 1906 where was it just here just under there I don't know if you can see it I'll try and get it up closer it focuses in yeah 1906 I think talk about relics what do you reckon that is it's got a hole here hole here hole here and I think not sure let me look yeah it's got a hole up there I'm not going to take it all apart and take all the mud out, but I've never seen anything like that. I don't know if it's old, new, it was a couple of inches down, but yeah. Anyway, let me know if you know, please. Marvellous. Earlier, earlier in the clip, I found what I thought was a pot leg. Now I've definitely found a pot leg, so, but I don't think the pot leg that I found earlier goes with this pot leg that I found just now so what do you reckon it's got to be a pot leg on it <clears throat> kind of feeling out of puff today but yeah up comes a little bag seal a bit different yeah very nice a lot of moo tubes and stuff we've been finding over here as well but yeah nice little bag seal i suppose 1800s maybe anyway well nothing surprises me what comes out of this place we've got a bit of a bell now 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 i can tell with this there's a rim of it um, but here on here is where the clapper's been hitting it against the side or the ringer it's the least experience of uh, people that know about bells would wonder what it is yeah so it's a bell or part of it well third time lucky I've uh, tried to do mm, I reckon this is a bit dodgy now I've tried to do three live digs and uh, they've all been bloody moo so I haven't bothered with them. Oh, well, I think what it feels like today is one of those days where I'm not feeling metal detecting and metal detecting is not feeling me. Um, we might be able to get over it together, but I don't think so. Not today. Let's have a look. It's just not having it. Right. This is... Oh. <laughs> and this is just what I'm saying well if you um, found this bottle on the top with it you get a 3D refund that's quite some of that isn't it 3D well I'm just finishing the day here and I just had a little uh, Edward come up and uh, yeah dirty birdie uh, yeah, I think it's about 1905, no, 1907. Lovely little farthing. Beautiful. Anyway, I'll take that, and uh, I'll also take these bloody power lines down in a minute. 